Today we're going to just talk in general what petting a dog means and how it reduces your anxiety. Petting a dog, the benefits of releasing a hormone, oxycontin, both dogs and owners, which associate a feeling of happiness, relaxation, and well-being. Additionally, often happy and energetic who can help you improve your day and improve the moods of the owners. Meeting the benefits of pets. Meet most pets are clear about joys that come starting sharing with their companions live with their companion however many of us remain unaware of the physical and mental health that can be accompanied by a pet the pleasure of snuggling up to a furry friend it's only re- recently studies that have begun to scientifically explore the benefits of human animal bonds. Pets involved become accurately attuned to our behaviors. Emotional dogs, for example, are able to understand many of our words we use, but they are even better at interrupting our tone, voices, body language, and gestures. And like any human friend, a loyal dog will look at you in the eyes. Gage gauge your emotional state and try to understand your thinking feeling and working out what next walk treat might be coming coming of course pets especially dogs and cats reduce stress anxiety or depression eases loneliness to encourage exercise playfulness improve your cardiovascular health Caring for an animal can help children grow up. More secure and activity, active pets also provide a valuable companionship for older adults. Perhaps most importantly, through a pet can add real joy and unconditional love to your life. Any pet can improve your health. While it's true that people with pets often express great, greater health benefits, those who without pets necessarily have to be a dog or cat or rabbit could be an ideally allergic to other animals or have limited but still want furry friends. Birds can exchange, encourage social Interaction help you mind sharp. If you are an adult, snakes, lizards, and other reptiles can make you exotic. Exotic companies, companions, even watching fish in aquariums can help reduce tension and lower your pulse rate. Pets owners are less likely to suffer from depression than those who without pets. People with pets have have lower blood pressure in stressful situations than those who without pets. One study even found that when people with borderline hypertension adopt dogs from a shelter, their blood pressure declines significantly within five months. Playing with a dog or cat other pets can re- elevate level of serotonin and dopamine, which come or relax and relax. Pet owners have low trigger light and cholesterol levels, indicating of a heart disease than those than those without pets. Heart attack of patients with pet survivor longer than without pet owners over the age of 65 can make 30 percent lower fewer visits to doctor than those without pets and one of the reasons that therapeutic that pets fully basic human need even criminals and those who person who change their lives behaviors after 
exotting a pat the mutual affection first time stroking hugging otherwise touching a long life loving animal can rapidly can also in easy loneliness of a great stimulation for health exercise which can boost your mood ease your depression my dog Bo is very comforting he loves all he likes when he itches butt even though mom doesn't like it he loves it it gets hair all over the place whether I care or not he is my favorite dog to pet much like Ellie she was a great dog to pet much like most yellow labs Lucy loved to be pet on her ears she loved her ears to be itched Hadley well she was Hadley she didn't like her, her her tail petted she liked her other ears or face petted but she didn't like it as much as other dogs she just didn't like it but that's okay Hadley we all still love you that's Sam Vaughn Mental Health When stepping back and thinking about it, it is kind of odd that as the human species, we take possession of other types of species and call them our pets. And it is even odder that it is accepted as normal across essentially all of humanity. We take animals that cannot communicate with us on any real coherent level, bring them into our homes, call them our pets and live with them. We feed them, shelter them, and take care of them. And generally, all we ask in return is that we just get to be around them. But why is this? What is so appealing about sharing our life with another species? Outside of more practical reasons like assisting in hunting, gathering, and general tasks, one reason for assimilating pets is the human desire to have responsibility and control. The need to feel important and the need to feel like something is dependent on us. This feeling is empowering and as humans our central insecurities are partly satiated by the sense of superiority we experience when owning and domesticating another living being. On the surface, this might sound somewhat feeble and selfish of us humans. But the truth is, although this may be a motive, there is a much deeper and more sincere reason why we like owning and being around our pets. A reason that makes the relationship between human and animal companion a truly mutual, interdependent and beautiful one that reveals a wonderful side of our nature. We do not simply own our pets, we love them. We become best friends with them and form bonds that are truly reciprocal and unconditional. We give them access to consistent safety, health, comfort and other logistical things that they might struggle to sustain. And in return, they help remind us of a side of ourselves that we want so deeply to live in, but often struggle with. The appreciation for simplicity. The ability to feel free. The obsession with fun. The lack of sensitivity to embarrassment. The disinterest in holding grudges. And the unrestrained affection that our pets possess are all of the things that we long for and wish we could feel constantly in ourselves but often struggle to do so. And our pets embody and remind us of the importance and possibility of these things. I would argue that the elements of our nature that our pets lack, like complex language, logical understanding, heightened self-awareness, etc., are all equally beautiful and essential to what makes the human experience so uniquely wonderful. But I would also argue that it can be very easy to become lost in this part of ourselves, the part that needs to understand and control everything. 